guys, my name is Alondra and I am here because, well, I finally had the inspiration to actually make a YouTube channel. And, well, my first video is going to be on the typical type of makeup that I do, which is usually my natural looks. So I hope that you're able to stay tuned. So this is my before, obviously. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my um, normal routines of how I prep my face. And then I'll be showing you guys how I do my eyeshadow and the rest of that. So. Okay, so first I like to start with this rose water mist. Um, I found this at um, Marshalls for $7.99 and um, it's just to like set my face. And get that in. Then I like to go with um, my Morning Glow, um, my Valjean Labs. It's a facial oil, um, vitamin C. It's, of course, um, I already did my Skin care, skin care routine, which first I apply my my facial cleanser, and then I could do my toner, and then my moisturizer. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this with my fingers. Get that all over my skin. And next, I go in with my moisturizer by e.l.f. It's a daily hydration moisturizer with purified water, jojoba, and vitamin E. It leaves my skin very smooth. As well with my fingers, I like to just go in, make sure I get all my areas. Because I have a mixed combination, um, dry and oil skin. It just depends on the day. I like to go in with my primer. So in this case, um, I've been using the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer. I've heard so many good reviews about it, so I thought I'd hop on the buying wagon, and I'm a huge TikTok fan, so... I was like, why not? Why not try it? And so far, it's left my skin, like, sets my skin real nice. And I, again, I do it with my fingers. Next, I want to go in with my corrector because at this current moment, I am going through a lot of acne. I don't know if it's due to the quarantine, but it seems like everybody's been breaking out. So I'm doing the same things happening to me. So I'm using my uh, Mary Kay at play and I'm just going to put this on the areas that need it, which in this case are the red areas. Usually I don't really break out, but you know, I guess it's just a season. Well, of course everybody has a different form of doing their makeup, but um, I feel like this helps for me. Got that in there. Next, I'm going to go with um, my concealer. With my concealer from e.l.f. I just really like e.l.f.'s pro products because I feel like they're not too pricey and they're worth it. Like,
foundation which we are using um, the NYX uh, Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade of Nude and it's a 24 hour coverage um, a matte finish coverage usually I try to go for those foundations where they're full coverage because it just basically you don't have to be going in twice to do it you're usually good with so I'm using a dab here, dab here, dab here, dab here. I think I may have put a little too much, but okay, we'll do. And I'm just gonna add it in. Make sure I get it all over my face. Like I said, it's pretty full coverage. Some people like to use brushes, but in this case, I like to use my my sponge make sure I get that covered in all the areas my teen zone in my forehead lately the weather has just been so not motivational I think since the whole time that we've pretty much been in quarantine, it's been pretty rainy over here down in San Antonio. And haven't really had motivation to do things and I know that it shouldn't be that way. Right, sis? Yeah, it really sucks. And I'm a person who's like very, very like, you know, jumpy and stuff, but the weather sometimes tones that down and it makes you feel like all lazy and stuff. Okay, I think that's uh, pretty much um, everything. I think makeup has been distributed properly um, for the most part. So next we're gonna go in um, my Photo Focus Translucent Powder from Wet n Wild. Like I said, um, you know, everybody is different. You know, I try to do what I can. So I'm just gonna put them right here. try right you try and then you're per able to perfect it by seeing those mistakes but the first thing and the good thing is actually starting something so I just put the translucent powder in those areas and now I'm just wait for it I'm gonna wait for it to bake so I'm gonna be using my contour stick from um, Mary Kay that in the areas I'm not an expert okay I just do whatever I gotta do so everybody's different um, so I'm gonna apply this um, KMS um, Medi Cosmetics I actually got this in my BoxyCharm um, this past April I became a subscriber to BoxyCharm not too long ago um, I already got my my March and my April boxes from BoxyCharm. And this is supposed to, it's a lip line corrector um, lip serum, and it makes your your lips super smooth. So I just apply a little bit. Your lips are pretty dry. Um, and while I'm just waiting for the makeup to set, 
then I'll blend this in. I'm not sure if I should use my BoxyCharm um, palette, which is extremely gorgeous. Hello, Charmers. It comes with all of these pretty colors. Like, look at that, it's so beautiful. It looks so beautiful that I don't even know if I wanna touch it, you know? That's kind of with the majority of my makeup. I end up using pretty much all of my nudes. And I also got this um, Ace Butte Scarlet Dusk. Have some pretty good colors in here too. Um, all of them are pinks. Gorgeous. Go with our Boxy Charm Palette. So let's check it out. Okay, guys, so I already blended in the translucent powder, took off the dust dust, and then I did my contour, which may be a little hard to see, but onto my eyeshadow premium shade right here as a starter color. for something natural. Make sure I blend all that in. Our starter color. It's like this yellowish -y color. You do have to go in a couple of times, you know, to really get in there. But you can see a difference. Next, we're gonna go in with um, this Cup of Joe color. So I cleaned off the excess and I grabbed one of my small brushes and I'm just gonna like go under my eyes to give it that dramatic effect. I'm gonna go in with a couple of gel. Next, I'm going to go with uh, my Mary Kay eyeliner. Um, this is a liquid eyeliner pen, so here I go. I'm not much of your winger yet, so this is as good as it gets. And then we have our eyeliner. Next, I'm going to go in with a pencil eyeliner and I'm going to go with under my eyes. And my under eyes. Bear with me. It's a process. A process of becoming better, right? Practice makes perfect. I feel like if I put eyeliner under my eyes, like, it will make my eyes pop more. Give me that diva, make me feel more 
like girl you got this like you pop it that's that's the way that i feel when i put um eyeliner under my eyes makes me feel sophisticated like i'm on top of the world type of thing. then we have um the eyeliner applied um now i'm gonna go in with this Love color and i'm gonna put that in the inner corners of my eye to give it that bam BAM! Another thing that helps me feel sophisticated when it gets to glue my makeup. The little BAM moment with the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Paris uh, Voluminous Base for my lashes. Supposed to prep your um, eyelashes. Apparently, my mom and my sister were telling me that I actually have long lashes. It's just <laughs> I don't be going like under them like a lot. Like go whisk, 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 whisk. I just do like one or two, and pretty much it, you know. But now they said that I don't even need to wear eyelashes. Then. I just need those. Keep going like whisk, whisk, whisk. And I have long lashes. I'm gonna be using my Other Than Sex um, Too Faced um, mascara. Works wonders. Telescopic mascara by L'Oreal, which is another trend to use these two from people who have TikToks. It was a recommend, so I hopped on the bandwagon and I wanted to try it out. What was a big deal? Everybody was all hyped up about. And I understand their hype now. Aside from that, I really hope that everybody's safe in their home. driving me crazy you know I'm a person who really likes to be outside and I'm not a homebody I don't like to be at home like all the time and it's like something that I'm dealing with throughout this whole quarantine you know I'm used to like being out there like doing stuff going shopping my favorite top stores are Ross, TJ Maxx and Marshalls always have some pretty good deals and well I mean they're closed so lost without them or I like spending time in family and stuff or I like going to um parties like painting ass and bold ass I mean we really never really get invited to weddings but I just like going because I love to dance though I don't know how to dance I love to dance and well it's pretty nice because back then I didn't have a dance partner and now I do and like this is like the only guy that I understand his dance moves or that he's very patient for me, with me, when it gets to dancing. So, score, score for me, score for him. But most importantly, something that I really miss is going to church. Uh, we used to go to church every Tuesday and Sunday and you know, but this, I feel like this is also a moment for us to like reconnect, not reconnect, but reflection and see that all these material things are not everything that we need, you know? What we need is a relationship with God. Um, and to spend time with our families and value all those things that, you know, we 
had at one point and continue to do that. Okay, so I did a um, lower lash. My blush from Tarte. Mm, it's in the color Seduce. Yes, I just walked in while I was trying to apply my blush. This beautiful person. What? To me, I think he's sort of like a person, but this is my dog, Beluche. Say hi, Beluche. Hi. He's the cutest little thing ever. Um, he's a part French poodle and schnauzer. Um, he has really been a huge blessing to our lives. Um, he's such an obedient dog. Listens to every command. Um, yeah, we try to like tell him that. Be like, mano. And see, he gave us a mano. Right, baby? He's so cute. But yeah, we consider him definitely part of our family. He listens. He follows my mom everywhere. He's the cutest little dog ever. See, hi, baby. Hi. So cute. But yeah, this is my dog. And well, I'm going to continue to finish putting my bronzer on. So go, baby. Go. So I put this in, in this area, my forehead. Gotta go glam, glam, glam. Under everything, right? Glam, glam, glam. Gotta look like a glam queen. Like I said, right now I'm having harsh times. My face is really breaking out. Um, you know, being stuck in quarantine has you like eating. I know you have, you get to make your own decisions, right? Like what to eat and all that stuff. And I guess I have not been eating so healthy and that is bad on my part. I will admit that, but um, we're gonna use the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink um, in the color of Well guys, this was a finishing look. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, my skin is really, you know, not having a good time right now. And I hope that you guys are able to accept that. But um, this is just a simple look that I wanted to do to start off this YouTube channel. Um, I wish nothing but the best for you guys. And I hope that everybody's safe at home and taking good care of themselves. Please stay tuned for, for further videos and give it a, a like. And please subscribe. Thank you. Hope y'all are doing great.